I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to make a graph using the slope and a point. Now, it's actually one of those processes that uh, is pretty straightforward after you get the hang of it. So let's do a couple of examples and uh, see how it works. Now, one of the things you want to think about is the slope, which is the letter M, is rise over run. Now, if you get that definition down, it'll really become easy for you when it comes to graphing lines using slopes and a point. So here's an illustration. Suppose you have the slope is equal to 3 halves, and you're given a point, let's just say, negative 3, 1. Okay, so you have a graph that looks like this. You're graphing negative 3, 1. Now, the slope is 3 over 2. So what that means here is, because it's rise over run, that means you're going to rise 3, and you're going to run 2. So rise of 3 means you're going up three, and a run of two means you're going to the right two places. So from the point that you just graphed, you're literally gonna follow the directions. You're gonna go up three, and then you're gonna go over two, and then once you have that, you're just gonna graph the line like so. Now, let's do another quick example so you can see what's going on. Now, suppose you have, let's just say the slope was negative two, and you're given a point Let's just say 0, negative 3. Now, what that means here is you're going to graph 0, negative 3 first, and then you're going to use the slope negative 2. Now, negative 2, anytime you have a slope, if it's a whole number, you actually want to write it as a fraction because you want to take advantage of the rise over run relationship. So we're going to take the negative 2 and rewrite it as negative 2 over 1. So any whole number can be thought of as that number over 1. Now what you want to do after that is, again, look at the definition, rise over run. So that means you're going to have a rise of a negative 2 and a run of 1. Now what does a rise of negative 2 mean? Negative rise means you're going down. R run 1 means you're going over to the right one place. So from this point, we're going to follow the directions. We're going to go down 2 because of the rise of negative 2, and we're going to go over 1, and then you got your graph because you can just connect the dots like so. So I hope this gives you an introduction on how to do it, but as you can tell, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to draw a graph using the slope and a point.